Is Netflix streaming the right choice for you? Well, if you like movies in HD, then Frozen Pixels, then HD again, the answer is yes. And if you love the golden year of movies, 2003, then we might have some of what you're looking for. Huh, says here that Colon Health Magazine gave it two thumbs in. Hi, I'm Matt Lauer's cousin, Stephen McCormick. Our moms are sisters. America is gorging itself on processed food, creating an obesity epidemic. Well, that's it. From now on, we're eating healthy around here. We're going to feel better and we're going to look better. Well, looking better doesn't always solve your problems, Lois. Sure didn't work for Droopy Dog when he got that facelift. Contrary to my appearance, I'm still not happy. Please study my brain so that others don't suffer as I have. Hope you guys are ready for a healthy dinner. I went to Whole Foods today and got this recipe from an extremely thin man with a giant Adam's apple. I hate that place. None of the cereals are advertised on TV. What's this stuff that looks like sand? It's quinoa. Nope, I don't eat foods that sound like karate words. Ugh, fine. Peter, knock it off. I can't help it. My body's rejecting it. Me. Quinoa. It's the middle of the night. Where are you going? I'm sick of all this healthy crap. I'm going downstairs to find something good to eat. And then I'm going to fall asleep watching transvaginal mesh lawsuit commercials. There's nothing. Thank you, son. Oh, yeah. Peanut butter cup, Dorito sausage, car panini. And let's crack a Cadbury egg over the whole thing. Just gonna use my spare glove compartment underwear as a napkin. I can't believe Randy Quaid gets to eat like this every day. Peter, is that you? Cleveland? Are you cooking in your car? I always get confused. Is Donna the wife or is Roberta the wife? I don't know, man. Can I have some of that sandwich? Oh, our hands just touched. Hmm. Wow, Peter, that's good. That's real good. I'm not sure what we're doing now. Money. Peter, you just made $20 from two sandwiches. Well, you're right. Hey, maybe I could turn this into a business. You know, selling sandwiches from a car. Wonder how much I could make. Peter, what the hell is this? This, Lois, is my new food truck, specializing in all the delicious, unhealthy foods that you won't let me eat. Because you don't let me eat what I want to eat, and, uh, and uh, I am super dizzy, and there might be a gas leak in this thing. <laughs> mm. Another milkshake, please. Look, I'm happy for the business, but drinking that on your knees is... It's putting a hat on a hat. Look at this food. It's gross and unhealthy. It's exactly the stuff I'm trying to get you not to eat. Yeah, but people like this food. It makes them happy. Oh, there we go. You think I'm overweight. I know you're overweight. Hey, yeah, uh, I'll have the uh, Swedish fish tacos. You want the can of chili dumped on top or on the side? What does the chef recommend? Me? I like to squeeze the can so hard the chili flies into my mouth like Popeye. Do it up. You got it. Let me put on my bandana, fire up my very loud what generator, and get cooking. That'll be $16. $16? That's expensive. Yes, sir. Everything's very expensive because you're paying for it on an iPad. Now, if you'll just select a gratuity, options are 60%, 90%, and 200%. Uh, I guess 60%? Hey, da, kids. Dinner. Kids? Peter, it's time for a healthy veggie dinner. Come on, I spent the whole day making the house smell like farts. Where the hell is everybody? All right, I got a bowl of cereal that's M&M's and Dr. Pepper and Pop Rocks. I'm making a paella. You know what? Enough of this nonsense. You love this truck so much, stay in it. Because I don't want you or your food in the house. Fine, I love this truck. I got everything I need in here. Maybe I'll just live here. I can imagine it now. All right, 
time to greet the day. Are you living in a truck? Not bad. I see you got a Hooters calendar in here. How do you get anything done with those rock and knockers staring at you? <laughs> you run like a girl. <laughs> run like a man, you get a suit. Here you go. And if you'd like to put your email on our sign-up list, I'd be happy to sell it to Russian hackers. Damn it! I can't fit through the door! I'm stuck in a truck! What? What are you talking about? I knew this would happen. You're too fat to get out. I see it! I see the Bing car! Oh my god, Bing! Bing! Over here, Bing! So tonight we say to the yellow-billed Marsh Finch, you're extinct! But right now, we're getting word of breaking news. We go live to Trisha Takanawa with details. Trisha? Tom, I'm standing here outside a Spooner Street home where a local business owner has apparently eaten himself into his own food truck. I guess you must be happy. Yeah, it's every girl's dream to have a husband hoisted out of a food truck in a horse harness. No, look, I I'm just saying, you were right. I'm a big tub of lard and you have every reason to be ashamed of me. Ashamed of you? Is that really what you think? Well, yeah, you kept saying how overweight I am. Peter, don't you get it? Oh, Peter. Ma'am, please step back. We have to wash him with a hose. Guys, look, look, the Bing car is back. No, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Inspired by his love for Lois, Peter... Mom, you're really going to Boston? I didn't even think you liked baseball. Oh, I'm not going for baseball. I I'm going for shopping, the hotel spa, and two days of being away from you life-sucking turds. Anyway, be good. And while we're gone, Brian's in charge. Where is Brian? Come on, Lois. Time to get to Fenway. Wow, Dad, you look awesome. But I thought you were going to dress like a baseball player. I am, Chris. I'm the type of player who arrives at the stadium in a suit with a tie knot as big as an apple. That's how you know I got money. All right, we'll see you guys Sunday. Look at this, Lois, the Fenway Park locker room. All right, Peter, I'm gonna go. You wanna hand me some cash in front of the other men so you feel powerful? Instead, why don't you just take my Minions Discover card? Hey there, sluggers. Welcome to Red Sox Fantasy Weekend. Well, I don't know. What do you think, Peter? What do I think about sharing fantasy baseball camp with my wife? Yeah, come on, let her play. Wow, 1980s all-star Wade Boggs. Hey, would you mind standing next to a star of today? Sure. Man, what happened to our game? David Ortiz, will you pick him up like a baby? Peter, what the hell did you do to the house? I know, it seems pretty lame until you realize I'm 58. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go lick the foot of a fleshy, pale woman for real sex 34. Rupert, what do you think of this fan fiction I wrote? Okay, Stewie, time for you to get dressed. Yeah, closed door means come in, I guess. What the hell do you think you're doing? Let's pick out a cute shirt for you. Then I thought we can go to the park. Or how about this? I press my butt against the wall and duke on it. You're messing with my schedule, so I'm giving you wall poo. <laughs> Stewie? What the hell's going on? Meg's awful. She gave me a timeout, and she made me sit in this chair. My God, she put eyeshadow on you, too. I might have gotten up from the chair. Brian, Meg's lost her mind. You've got to talk to her. Stewie, Lois put Meg in charge, and honestly, once I knew that... All right, think. Ah! I shall fashion a makeshift ladder with my diaper genie entrails, shimmy down to the yard, and I'm free! The trick, Chris, is thinking of the wand as an extension of your arm. Wow, I can't believe I'm pretend bowling with a dog on drugs! Wow, it's nice they put on a banquet for you. But it looks like I'm the only woman here. Yeah, they're ex-athletes, which means they're all divorced. In fact, their ex-wives are having a banquet next door with their money. And you want some of the dirty. Oh, they're having fun. They're doing a lot of pointing dancing. Oh, thanks. Finally, something's going my way. Where should I... Not you. Lois. What? 
This is the one night of the year they let me out of the scoreboard. Oh, I don't know if I deserve to sit at the head table. No, no, we took a vote. We all want to sit next to you. Hey, Meg, is anybody going to eat this grilled cheese? No, don't eat that. That's Stewie's lunch. <gasps> oh, my God, Stewie! I forgot he's been in a timeout for six hours. Stewie? Oh, no, where is he? He's gone. I'm going to be in so much trouble. I tried to tell you watching Stewie wasn't easy. We could repurpose my one-act farce. Or we could write something fresh. Look, just because it's already been written doesn't mean it's not fresh. What did I just say? Shut up! We're in trouble! I'm in trouble! Hey, what's this, a dickweed convention? Stewie! Oh, thank God you're home! Where the hell have you been? You're my little brother. Can you forgive me? Well, all right. Can I have your baby? Don't let her in.